pancakes. Why do we only eat them in February, once a year, Shrove Tuesday, which is crazy. This is an American-style pancake, light, fluffy, and absolutely delicious. Start off with 150 grams of flour, and sip the flour as you pour it into the bowl. Baking powder. Keeps the pancake really nice and light and fluffy. Salt. Three eggs. 75 mils of water and 120 ml of buttermilk. And the secret behind this pancake mix is to make sure that we've got no lumps anywhere. Whisk the eggs into the flour, get your buttermilk, just add half of it in, give it a really good whisk. That's nice and smooth already. The rest of the buttermilk. And when you make your pancake mix like this, it's chemistry, so follow the recipe exactly. Now we've got this really nice, smooth batter. That's ready. Perfect. Non-stick pan, sunflower oil, and just run that round. Half a ladle in, a minute and a half on each side. Pallet knife in and over. Look, absolutely beautiful. Onto the plate. This is where it gets really exciting. We're caramelising bananas. It's important to slice them lengthways in order to make sure that they don't go mushy in the pan. I'm going to make a really nice quick caramel. 50 grams of sugar, back onto the heat, and start the caramel. Don't whisk it, don't put a spoon in there, just leave it in the pan. Once you're happy with the colour, take it back off the heat. Butter. Bananas. And what I'm going to do now is deglaze the pan with some rum. Rum, banana, caramel, goes brilliantly. Rum in. Nice. Lovely. Think of the flavour. A little cup of water, just to let the caramel down so it's not too sticky and rich and too thick. There we go. That's ready. Be generous with them because it is just the ultimate indulgent. And then finally, to finish it, some really nice ice cream on top. And drizzle that over. Very, very quick and easy. Scotch pancakes, caramelised bananas with rum and vanilla ice cream, done. Beautiful. No wonder the Americans are so fucking fat. Slightly tilt the knife down, one at the top, and then gripping the onion like a tennis ball, holding it together in place. 